Barcelona secured their second consecutive opening win in the group stage, a feat not accomplished in three seasons. Their perfect six points propelled them to the top of Group H, boasting the best statistics in the entire Champions League, surpassing teams like the mighty Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Hala Madrid, la 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 la, and Manchester City, who have also enjoyed unbeaten runs. Under Xavi's leadership, Barcelona has amassed six points with six goals scored, including five against Antwerp and one against Porto. This goal tally is the highest in the competition, matching the achievements of Bayern Munich and Manchester City in their respective matches. However, what sets Barcelona apart is their impeccable defensive record, having not conceded a single goal. Milan in Group F shares this clean sheet albeit to lesser effect as they currently sit third in their group behind Newcastle and PSG, also failing to find the net themselves. It was a remarkable display of defensive prowess. The Arojo Kunde duo emerged as the ultimate guardians for Barcelona, shielding both their team and the indomitable Ter Stegen. Each of them played pivotal roles in spectacular defensive maneuvers that spared Barcelona from conceding a goal further solidifying their status as the club's perfect bodyguards. Their heroics unfolded in two critical moments during the clash with Porto. In the 53rd minute, Koundé thwarted a perilous situation, and just 10 minutes later, Araujo intervened with a surgical precision to neutralize another imminent threat. Koundé's exceptional goal line clearance, executed with the finesse of his left boot, denied Pepe a certain goal. The Frenchman, however, expressed frustration at being shown a yellow card for a perceived dangerous play against Wendell. Araujo mirrored his commitment by swiftly, decisively intercepting a Porto striker's advance, skillfully using his foot to eliminate the threat. Two moments of sublime defensive artistry. Their statistics tell a compelling tale. Koundé led the way with an astounding 94 interventions, the highest among all players. He also orchestrated the most passes, 78, with an impressive 93% completion rate, triumphing in five aerial duels in the penalty area and claiming possession from the opponent on five occasions. Ojo showcased his medal as well, ranking second in the completed passes with 64 and fourth in interventions with 78, accentuating his precision, 88% pass accuracy. The Orojo Kunde partnership has featured in 25 games, boasting an impressive record of 17 wins, 5 draws, and a mere 3 defeats. Among these losses, one occurred in La Liga against Rayo Vallecano, while the other transpired in European competitions one against Manchester United in the Europa League and the other against Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Rojo paid homage to his defensive counterpart Kunde, stating, He is a remarkable person, much like Christensen. We have formed a tight-knit group. Defensively, we've become a family. Kunde, speaking to movie star, recounted his pivotal moment in saying Barcelona from this potential draw. It was a swift action. I sprinted and executed an inside touch to distance the ball from the opponent. As a defender, it's immensely satisfying to keep a clean sheet. The Rojo Kunde partnership holds a central role in Xavi Hernandez's tactical setup. Although injuries disrupted their collaboration last season, preventing them from facing Inter Milan, this season, Rojo's initial injury limited their minutes together at the start of the campaign with his return occurring on the sixth match day against Celta Vigo. Their combined strength and unyielding commitment to defensive excellence make them Barcelona's premier defensive pairing as the club ventures in the European campaign. <laughs>